Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Masters of the Museiverse August Challenge. Um, I've made a habit, I don't know for how many years now, of start starting to gear up for the school year in August by pur purposefully listening to one score each day. I've made a habit of collecting scores um, in the spring that vary in grade levels. Um, I'm sometimes just walking around the music library and I'm like, oh, that one. Or I'm, I, I hear something, I'm like, oh, yeah, that. Um, so this year's stack has everything from grade one and a half to grade five. I pull scores out like, oh, this is a great example, Julie Garo's To Walk With Wings. I didn't even know we had this. And I was going through the library and it was like, oh my gosh, I need to listen to this. I love Julie Garo's music. I actually don't know this piece at all. And it's new things like I've got Daryl Johnson's Aluminum Sharks um, and Haley Woodrow's Tapestry. This one happens to be for Adaptable Band because who knows. <laughs> um, and, you know, jazz charts like The Chicken. Um, things that I did years ago that I was like, oh, this might fit my band this year. So I'm going to try out Magnum Mysterium. And all my choir friends can correct my pronunciation if they wish. It's things like, oh, I've always wanted to, to do December Dance. I maybe take this one out in August every year and think about it and decide if it's right for my band. But it's also finding those, you know, going back to those cornerstone pieces, like I happen to have a very old score of the second suite. Um, and, you know, making sure that I'm at least considering those pieces because my students actually love those cornerstone pieces very much. This challenge is about finding new music. It's about appreciating some classics and then prepping my mind for the year to come. I honestly don't think that score reading is a strong suit of mine. It's something that I perpetually work on and this exercise helps. Uh, it makes me appreciate the beauty in a score too because I, I love opening up a score and it, like some of them are like works of art in and of themselves. I love looking how the lines connect from one to the other and just seeing that visually. And then hearing it come alive in a performance, um, too, is something that's so special. So I've loved this so much, so I want to share it with anybody that's willing. This isn't just for band directors, either. I know I have some followers that uh, are like my friend Jennifer. Um, she just loves bands so much. So this is for you, too, Jennifer, and all the other Jennifers out there. For the, for the next month, I'm going to use my social media accounts to share a recording of the music. If I can, the recording is going to incorporate a score. Um, if I get permission from composers, I'm going to share scores. Um, I won't share anything that I don't have direct permission from or that's uh, you know uh, just readily available on the internet. Um, please comment on these, either how much you like it or maybe music that's like it, that, hey, you like Julie Garreau, have you thought of blah, 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 blah. Um, and, uh, and I just, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. Um, in your comments, uh, use the hashtag August Band Challenge, uh, and uh, this should be fun. So hopefully some people are willing to, to join me on this adventure. 